Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian. Uh, tonight I'm doing a deep and dark pour. I am working on a 24 by 30 canvas. I'm going to do uh, five straight pours on one canvas. Tilted out, I'm gonna get um, this beautiful, beautiful red, black, gold piece that's gonna, um, shockingly enough, <clears throat> I'm making this video, this portion of the video, after I've already made the piece. So it's already dried. Somehow, miraculously, it dried in about 18 hours because I turned up the heat in the studio. Um, but it came out great. It's gonna need a coat of Liquitex gloss varnish because it is so dark that that gloss is gonna bring those colors back to life. So I'm really excited about this piece. I love working on big canvases. So I'll get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about the canvas size and the colors. I'll be right back. All right, so what we've got here is a 24 by 30 gallery wrap canvas. I've got it taped and push pinned on the back. Uh, as you can see, this paint, this canvas has been painted on before and scraped. Um, I uh, had a little incident. Uh, one of my lights burned out while in the middle of filming another video. And so I was in the process of changing it. And, you know, <laughs> my luck this week hasn't been great for the last two weeks, I should say. And I dropped the light bulb right into the painting. <laughs> So, um, needless to say, that did not work out so well. So we scraped it all off. Got more paint mixed up, so we're going to go for this again. So what I'm going to be doing today are five, five ounce cups doing dirty pours. And I'm going to pour them all over the canvas. Like so. Keeping the puddles very close. And I might put a little white in between my puddles. We'll see. I'm using very minimal colors today. I'm using Bordeaux Red from Arteza. I'm using 24 karat gold by Deco Art, American Decor. And I'm using Pyrol Red, which is across the room. Uh, Pyrol Red from Amsterdam. And my base coat is going to be Amsterdam in the Oxide Black. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this canvas out of the way and we're gonna start filling up these cups. For a 24 by 30, you're gonna need about 25 ounces of paint. So these are five ounce cups. So that should be enough to work with. My uh, pouring medium today is a sample pouring medium. It is by Daler and Rowney. Um, you can get it from Home Depot. It comes in a 120 milliliter tube. It is super, super thick. It's gelatinous. And I'll show you what that tube looks like. I don't have the tube anymore, so I threw it away. But I will, um, I'll show you what that tube looks like. But in any case, I put four ounces of that to uh, two ounces of my paint. And then the rest is Floetrol. So you get a nice, creamy, thin paint. So when you pull up your stick, it just dribbles, makes a mound and falls right back in. In fact, I think I need to thin these out just a little bit. Okay, so let's fill these bad boys up. I'm gonna put a little black in here first in the bottom. I'm gonna start off with the Bordeaux red. We're gonna pour up high. We want this to sink down into the black. Gold. red. Hey, that's one cup. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna flood this canvas with the black. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna keep these puddles fairly close for an easier way to uh, tilt. So guys, it's very important when you're pouring these dirty pours like this, you need to allow the paint to come out from the very bottom of the cup because that's where your, a lot of your color is coming from. The cells are really popping up now. Okay, now we wait and we're gonna let the cells develop in the pores. As you love, the longer you let them sit, the more cells will pop up with this type of pour. All right, let's give this one last torch. We're gonna see if we can get anything else to pop up. All right, so since I've got a constant, the bigger two puddles are here, I think I'm gonna go this way first, back this way, and then we'll go off the sides and corners. 
Keep in mind too, with this uh, thickness or thinness of the paint, these puddles are gonna move a lot faster than you would say for a ring pour. I absolutely love this. I had debated on whether or not to uh, throw some white in here in between and around the puddles. And I, um, I got Sarah Mack's opinion, what she thought I should do. And she said, leave it alone because the gold is going to lighten this up. And boy, was she not wrong.
Okay, I'm gonna leave it right here. I'm gonna clean up my edges and then I will torch and bring you guys down for a close up. All right, guys, I'll bring you down. I'll be right back. Okay, here is the wet result. Whoa, this is going to be so beautiful when it dries. I'll start you up here in the top left. All right, here's the dried result. Amazingly, I turned up the heat in the studio and this sucker dried in about 18 hours. I am very shocked it dried and that it didn't crack. Um, so this is really is cool and I'm gonna put Liquitex gloss varnish on it to brighten it up a little bit more because it is a little deep and dark. But that's the look I was going for. I really wanted something to have like a statement piece. So I will bring you in here for a close up. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love this piece. And um, we're getting a lot of snow here. Check this out. We've probably gotten about a foot of snow. This is the path that I made for the pups. Not the new pups, but my three dogs. So, speaking of the pups, I'll cut you over and let you see how they're progressing right now. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. All right, everybody, have a great one. Hey, come on, get closer. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> Junior is eating so much, you... God. <laughs> You're gonna eat each other's faces? <laughs> <laughs>